Hi, first grade. We are going to learn about African landforms and African animals today. Before we jump into some landforms, we're going to learn about what surrounds Africa, which is Africa's waters. The first ocean is the Atlantic Ocean by Western Africa. Then we have the Indian Ocean by Eastern Africa. The Mediterranean Sea to the north of Africa. And in between here, between Asia and Africa, is the Red Sea and the Suez Canal. The first landform we're going to dive into is the Nile River. The Nile River is in northern Africa, parts of eastern Africa, and parts of central Africa. The Nile River actually flows north, which is different than many other rivers. It's also 4,160 miles long. That is four Ohio rivers. That's like if you traveled from South America to Antarctica. The Sahara Desert is in northern Africa. Looking at an, a map of Africa, you could see that the Sahara Desert is in several different countries. It covers 9, 000, 9 million kilometers squared. That's really big. Look at that map over there. A lot of you are wondering about Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is part of the Atlas Mountains, which actually come from the Mediterranean area or northern Africa in Morocco all the way down to central Africa in Tanzania, where Mount Kilimanjaro is, as you can see on the map over here. Mount Kilimanjaro is 19,000 feet above sea level. That's like if I start at the ocean and I go all the way up to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, it's 19,000 feet. Friends, if you try to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, it's like walking from the equator, that imaginary line in the center of the earth, to Antarctica at the bottom of the earth. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it because the youngest person to climb Mount Kilimanjaro was six years old. Crazy. Now, I put a picture of myself in trees down here because when you start climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, you actually start in a forest. And then as you get to the top, it starts getting colder and colder and colder. And there's ice at the top. It's actually in the Arctic zone. Why, and that's known by the ice and the rocks that's at the top of the mountain. Now let's talk about some of the animals in Africa. Now I know there are some movies about African animals, so we're not going to spend too, too long on animals in Africa, but there are some pretty cool ones. Um, I just want to point out the termites, because look at those mounds in, those picture, in this picture. The hammer caught bird, which is friends with the hippopotamus. And there's gazelles, zebras, and rhinos, and wildebeests, and giraffes, and definitely lions, as we know. These are all animals that are found in the savanna or the grasslands in Africa. So, am I going to find a lion or a zebra in the rainforest? Nope. What about the steppe? No, it's really dry there. What about the Mediterranean? No, these animals need hotter climates than the Mediterranean. That's why they're savanna animals. Lastly, we have animals in the rainforest. Check out these a copy. He's the brown and white striped animal. He's super cool with that long tongue. There's chimpanzees, gorillas, and even some leopards. Make sure you fill out your L column about landforms and animals. I hope you learned something new. See you soon.